My grandmother was actually struggling when I was doing that earlier, earlier moment of my career as an artist. It was like, where do I come from? Because he doesn't understand the things that I was doing in the house. But she was the only one who seemed to believe in me and understands the fact that, you know, I have a, have a future with what I'm doing. I'm in Dome and I'm here to see an artist who drew a picture of me with fire. Yes, I said fire. I could not believe it and so I decided to come to Domi to come and see him in action so that you guys can also be inspired that look, there's so much talent in Ghana. Absolutely. I'm here. Come and follow me and let's see where all the magic happens. But you know what? For you guys to see more of these inspiring stories, you need to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Odana Network. Press that red button and subscribe and listen to all these amazing stories coming out from the continent. So follow me, let's see Danso and let's see what he's doing. We get to meet again for sure. Yeah. I'm inspired about your work. Thank you very much. I mean I loved my artwork. It was beautiful and it looks exactly like me. The art, I mean, you use fire? Yes, I do. Explain the process. So, um, this is called pyrography painting. Okay. Pyrography painting is basically using heat or fire to create a piece of work, wow. an artwork. Wow. It can be done on wood, it can be done on leather, and then other suitable materials that can help you okay. do that. So, this is Beyonce, I see. Yes, yeah, this is Beyonce okay. and Jay-Z that are okay. painting. And this is called carnation. Carnation is a, is a flower that signifies love, pure love. So I'm using their love story to express oh, wow. I and mean, to give a meaning to the work. Wow. Yeah, so it's Beyonce and Jay Z, but it's not titled Beyonce and Jay Z, it's titled Carnation. Carnation. Okay, yes, that's, that's beautiful. Pure love. This is not actually done yet. I'm going to continue with some few details, and then after that, it's framing the whole work. Is finished. Okay, so how long for this? How long was the process? At least this can take about two to three weeks. If, two to three weeks. Yes, at least. If I'm working on it okay. with the details that is in the work, it can take about two to three weeks. Okay. That's at least. So but most I can spend more than that. You can spend more yes, than that. Depending on what I'm how working. big it is and the how image big, and, and the image detailing and the that detail you have to do. Okay. Know. And each, I see that you, I, I don't know. Is that your logo? Is that your signature? This. Yes, so this is Lichtenberg. Okay. Or this Lichtenberg. This was used by scientists to study how light travels. But artists also use them in their work. I love science and so I love to experiment. And I wanted my art pieces to look different from the regular pyrography. Mm -hmm. Even though I'm not the only pyrography in the world. Mm -hmm. But my kind of pyrography, I needed it to be different from, from the usual pyrography everyone does. So I decided to add this technique to my pyrography and it becomes more or less like my signature. Yeah. And even if you see any other pyrography, no matter what with yeah. this, you, I you definitely know this is for dancing know that. Right. Yeah, I definitely <laughs> yes. know that. That's really. how I go about it. Okay. You said you love science. What did you study? Like, how did you get into art? Is okay. your dad an artist or your mom? My dad was an accountant. He worked at a bank and later became a bank manager, but he stopped later. My mom is a seamstress. Okay. And I think part of this art thing runs within, not from the, I mean, the nuclear family, but the extended family. There are some few people also who, who does a little bit but of But your mom is a creative. She's creative. a seamstress, yeah. and then she, she is. Yeah. My grandmother was actually struck when I was doing that earlier, earlier moment of my career as an artist. It was like, where do I come from? Because he doesn't understand the things that I was doing in the house. But she was the only one who seemed to believe in me and understands the fact that you know I have a, have a future with what I'm doing. He never understood what the art is, wow. but she believes that I'm unique, I'm different, wow. and I mean that's why. Wow. What were you doing at that time? Like at that age? At that time, I was painting. I was just doing um, miniature artworks of um, artist impression of buildings, like architecture buildings, okay. and then using cuttings and chipboards to build and do all of those stuff. Okay. So they all thought I was going to go into architecture, just okay. like my uncle also thought I was going to be right. an architect. Okay. But you know, art and architect also goes hand in hand, so architecture goes hand in hand. So I decided, man, let me take this side and work on it. And, but what did your parents say? How, you know, Ghanaian parents are not usually very supportive when it comes yeah, to Yeah, my mom art. was okay. okay. She, she, she doesn't have any problem. Yeah. My dad died when I was 12. Oh. Yeah, my dad died when I was 12. And my uncle became my father. Okay. He also, he, he has stayed in abroad. He knows about starving artists and all of that. So he had a problem with me being an artist because mm. he thinks I'm going to be a starving artist and then I'm not, it's not going to pay off yeah, not for me. So it was hard for me to, to let him understand my gift and then the fact that this is my passion and this is what I love to do. Yeah. So I have to fight for him to understand. And now he's seeing the kind of things I'm doing, how far I've come with the art. I think 
he's beginning to understand that, you know, the dream is what is keeping me going. He, uh, he is accepting it with time. I think he'll be okay. That's good. You know, and is it paying? Are you able to support your family? You know, your, your child is here, your wife. Are you able to support your family with the mm. art that you're doing? Yeah, I do. Okay. That is the only thing that is keeping me wow. on. And then art is what I do full time. I don't do anything else apart from art. And when I say art is what I do, it's not just paintings and then um, sculpture. And I do um, furniture as well. I think you have seen some of my furniture yeah. works. Yeah. You know, what there is, as people were asking me back when I was in the village, where I started at, you know, when I buy a piece what of village? art. Where, where, where? From Rara, where I was born. Where's I was born Rara? in Rara. It's in the Oti region. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if you know PJ Kev. PJ Kev. Yeah, PJ Kev. Oh, okay. PJ Kev comes from Rara. Rara. Yes. So when I was doing that, people were asking, when I buy a piece of art, what am I using it for? So I wanted the art to be functional. So that's when I decided to enter into furniture. When I will use the art to decorate the furniture pieces. Oh. So in that case, you don't. It's not like you are just buying the art for art's sake. You no, know, they don't have that. It's inclusive. It's like it's a package. And it, I mean, it nice. looks like the art is serving a purpose First, for you. Oh, wow. So I wanted to give them that purpose of. Uh, I mean, that art serving a purpose for them. Wow. And so that is how come I entered into the furniture designs as well. So did you go? to school for this? Did you study for this? Yes. Um, when I, I studied visual arts in the, say, in the junior high school. Okay. And then I studied um, painting, industrial painting at the Takwadi Technical University. Okay. Yes, so I did H&D in painting. Wow. Yes, painting and design. That's what I did. Okay. Yes, so I studied for this. So this is my area of specialization. Fantastic. Tell us yes. about these. I mean, one, two, three. It looks like they're the same. Is it the same girl? Yes, it's the same like different. Person. That's Amasaki. She's a model from Ghana okay. and then um, Western Red in Takrade. She's you know, beautiful. She's beautiful. And then one thing that, is, I, uh, that inspires me to do this work is, you know, how she appears in the different position and how she expresses herself. So I used these different positions to talk about the fact that you can take pictures from different positions and yeah. then have different view and different perspective. Sure. So depending on how you are seeing stuff in the real life, they all look different from where every, each and every person is looking at it from. So I just represented these three paintings and then I used them to talk about how you see the different positions and the meanings that they mm. communicate. What was this one communicating to you? So this one is communicating um, just the joy within. You know, you can see that joy in her, in, her, in her eyes and then the expression, how these three pieces are basically talking about expression. Okay. She suggests expression, okay. more or less like expressionism. Okay. Yeah. And this, this also took three weeks, four weeks? This took about, um, this took about two. Two weeks? Yeah, it took about, it took about two weeks. Okay. Yeah. And what's this? Is this somebody's botox yeah, so, or...? Yes, this, okay. this is a depiction that I did. I was trying to experiment with this linen material. Okay. Material, how, I mean, you see the see-through kind of material. Right. Sometimes, you know, we experiment with materials, experiment with the natural, I mean, skin, um, leather, you know, to see how the outcome is going to be. And on the other hand, to, you know, the curves and everything also had, gives a different communication of beauty and all right, of that in right. the art. Everybody has their own way of how they perceive art and the things that they enjoy in the okay. art space. So do you use picture to draw or do you just draw from your mind? Mm. There are some of the pieces that are a combination of picture and then from the mind. Okay. Like with... Um, with this painting of Harriet Tubman. Okay. This painting didn't have these flowers. The picture was just Harriet's sure. picture. And then I decided to go about to include my crafts, include these flowers. This is called pensy. It's pensy flowers. Okay. These flowers are used to, I mean, it's a remembrance. It's a flower that symbolizes remembrance. So they are usually planted at the cemetery to, I mean, remember of the people and then those that you have lost. So I'm using this picture to remember the things that Harriet has done mm -hmm. for the black community and then the black people that she saved through slavery and all of that. Mm -hmm. So this painting is done okay. to, to represent that. Mm -hmm. And you realize that this doesn't have that, sure, that sure. same kind of right. technique in here. Mm -hmm. This is just the way it is sure. represented. Expression, like I said, she's expressing her inner beauty on her face. Beautiful. Yeah. Absolutely stunning. And then, this and then one. the last one. That is greener pastures. So greener pastures is basically talking about myself as an artist. Okay. And then, you know, I've represented this young boy as the young me who was dreaming to become an artist and then get to the point that I am here. So this is what greener pastures is saying. That now I can see myself, I'm not fully, I mean, 
getting the things that I want and I'm sure. not at the peak that I want to be, but over mm -hmm. here I see mm -hmm. myself in the greener pastures and That's moving fantastic. forward. So this is what greener pastures That's represent. Beautiful. That's why you can see a lot of colorful oh, and then, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so that's what Green Up has just talked about. And then this one? Yeah, so that's PJ Kev. Uh, this is a painting that I did yeah. for PJ Kev. Oh, yes. have you met him yet? He, I'm sure yet. he'll be coming to Ghana. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, yes, we'll, we'll make sure that we get it delivered yeah. to him. Yes, Especially sir. if he's from Rara. Yeah, he is. You know, we need <laughs> to make sure that we, we, we is, get PJ Kev. PJ Kev is from Rara. Too. He actually, we, we've DM'd and then he said when he's here, we'll, we'll, he'll make sure we get, we get it to him. So I hope this, you can see that. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Absolutely. Yeah. This is another portrait that I did of Chada Nanakwami Bediako. He is a builder and a real estate developer. I, I'm inspired by his life as an artist, and then I did this painting. It took me about close to two months to do this, and it's priceless. It's a gift that I did for him. I'm looking forward to get it to him. So where we are is your house. This is where you work from. Yeah, this is where I work from. Okay. I do everything from here. Okay. I work from here. Everything is done in this house. All okay. the furniture works and all my paintings are made here. Every, everything so is this was a painting of Jeff Bezos that I did. Hey, the one of the richest men. One of the richest men. This is called Blue. Okay. Blue, I mean, just I'm linking it to Blue Origin, his space mm, okay. kind of thing. So okay. I, you can see this is linked to his head. Wow. Kind of his ideas. No, wow. this is how I linked yeah, this way. I like together. it. Yes, I like the, it. This blue. So this one is not finished as well. You're going to finish that. It's not finished as well. I'm going to finish that. So I'll, I'll work on this. Okay. So, so we can, can see that because I want to see exactly what you do and how you yes, do yes, it. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. How do you see the art industry in Ghana? Are you, as an artist, respected for the work that you do? Are you able to command the the fees and the money that it deserves? Currently, I think things are getting better. Not like before. I think before things were not like it is today. Looking like the likes of Amaku Buafo, the likes of um, Kwasi Bochi and all the other artists that I know of, and then myself as an artist, if I'm able to sell a piece for about $2,000 here in Ghana, then I think for now things are getting better. Unlike before, you can't even sell a piece for yeah. about 200 and then 500 series. Sure. And then I think currently GEPA, Ghana Export Ghan Promotion Authority, is doing very well to help promote Ghanaian artists. Fantastic. And I think with time, things will get better. It's not, I mean, as all good like yeah. we want it to be, but looking at the kind of I mean, improvement yeah. and then the, the continuous effort that they are putting in. And um, I think they are doing a lot and then okay. they are getting better at it. Okay. And I believe that with time, things will get better. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I think Dr. Ifua Sabia is doing very well on that, trying to help us as artists get better and then command the respect that we deserve, we deserve as artists. Fantastic. And I think that is a good... One so what we're going to do here? You're gonna yes, so I'm going to paint this for you to have a feel of how pyrography is Fantastic. Done. Yeah, Fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So over yeah. to you. Yeah, so I have my, my gas here. It's gasoline. Okay. So it goes okay, off this way. Okay, what are you pointing Hawaii? <laughs> okay. It goes off this way. <laughs> okay. And then, you know, you fix it up mm -hmm. and then you close it. Okay. So when you open and then, oh. you know, fire comes out okay. of it. So if... I want to work on this part. I want to darken it up. Okay. I go this way. I go on with this if I don't want the fire to cross, to cross over, okay. you know I go on with this okay yes so this but with prevent. the fire thing are you not supposed to wear any type of goggles or not really just mask anything for your just I really do I wear masks okay. to I mean stop the smoke from Coming, yeah. inhaling the smoke yeah. in yeah so I go on with this Oh, 
here. Okay. So I'm just adding shade right, to, to it yeah. to give it more solidity and right. then that's yeah. how I go about it. And then we, when I need light, you know, I, I take this tool here okay. and then I go in to create the light and then oh. the greens of the hair. Beautiful. Yeah, so that's how I go about creating the veins of the hair. So this is more or less like scratching the surface. Sure. To reveal the under its colors. And then in poetry, this is called scraffito. Scraffito. Yeah, this is scraffito in poetry. Okay. Yeah, so. You know the type of art that you're doing? Is it from Ghana? I, 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 I shouldn't say it's even from Ghana because our mothers are even pyrography artists. Yeah. Because once you're cooking and then you're putting wood in fire, yeah. pyrography arts has been from the archaic um, period, from prehistoric, and then they, they've been doing pyrography art. So uh, this has been part of them from the beginning. Okay. Yeah. Have you been able to showcase your art outside of Ghana? Yes, I've, 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 I've done an exhibition with Ghana Export Promotion. That's that sound out exhibition, I cry in Paris. Oh, I did nice. a crime party. I was, we did that in um, UNESCO. Fantastic. Yeah, we did that in UNESCO. And I have done one in South Africa. That's also with Ghana Sport Promotion. And how was it? it what, was what did people say when they saw a Ghanaian Everybody artist? Everybody is amazed when they see it. And what even inspires them is when they hear that I, I use... I actually use fire, fire to create yeah. this piece is because they are wondering how I'm able to come up with this whole idea and you know the textures and what sometimes wows them is the greens how i come up with the hair yeah. and it looks so natural and then they think about these cracks and it even takes away yeah. everything Your signature yes <laughs> so they are they are in love with the kind of piece i do and Excellent. i think and they're they buying do. more are they buying more mm. with the art pieces they don't buy more because they are expensive okay yes okay. they are expensive and i'm not here to give out my art pieces for the sake of, just I mean, out, just yeah. giving out. If I want to give out, I give out yeah. because I want to give out. But if I say I'm selling, selling then, then I'm selling to. per the price that I think awesome. it deserves to be sold for. Fantastic. So a piece like um, Greener Passage is about 75,000 cities. Wow. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. And something like this, if somebody something, wanted a, a drawing? If you want something like this done, it would be about 150,000. That's about $10,000 or? Yeah, 150,000. $8,000? Fifteen thousand dollars now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like for a fair piece yeah. like this. So you do that. So people come to you and say, "Look, it's my wedding anniversary. I want a gift. Yes, 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 I or do. it's my birthday. I do. And then you do that. I do. Okay. I do that for people. For some few people okay. that are, I mean, in love with the work and they okay. want it. I do that for them. They come in and then they want a, a portrait done. Currently, I'm coming to work on a family portrait for someone. Oh, that's so I will work on that for them. Okay. But most of the pieces that I do are pieces that I'm making for. I mean, for my exhibitions and all okay. of that. So I really do for for um, commission pop works okay, and portrait. Okay. There are just a few of okay. those that I work on. Okay. Yeah. I'm really proud of you, Dan Bright. Thank you very much. Well done for all the Thank work you very that you much. do. Thank you. I encourage you to keep going. Thank you. I know it's not easy. Yes, yes. yes, 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 um, yes, yes but yes. I think that you have something. Just like your grandmother saw that you have something. Yes, we all did. see that you have something. And so one day. These things will go for a million, as we know, in the US. Sure, it will. You know, in Europe, they buy paint, they appreciate paint, they do. you know, artists. Yeah. And so it will get there, yeah, right? Sure. Your know, work right? is absolutely amazing. And Thank we you, hope yeah. that, you know, the likes of Beyonce and Jay-Z will see this artwork as well How and be in love with it, just, just as I am. My one is framed in my house and I love it so much and I can't <laughs> thank you enough. I'm really grateful. I'm, I'm really happy that you were able to come in and see my art and then experience how I go yeah, about my art. It's beautiful. I mean, if, if, you, if you don't have the opportunity to see how I go about it, you will not even understand. Appreciate it as and well. Appreciate I appreciate, the appreciate it so much more. But once you, you see how it is done, it gives you more ability to appreciate the kind of work Absolutely. that I do. And then you understand the reason why it's supposed to be expensive as it is. Do you see your son going into art and would you encourage it? He loves what I do. And I think, you know, what your son sees you do, he does it. Yeah. I'm not going to force him to become an artist. But if he loves art and he wants to do art, I'm, I'm ready to support him to do that. Mm -hmm. But to force him and say, I'm an artist, so you should be an definitely be an artist. No, I'm not going to do that. I'll tell you, it's good. I love it. And if you love to do it, then do it. But whatever that you want to do, I will give you the opportunity to, to do it. Him. I'll support him in that. That is what I believe is the best way. And I think parents should look into that. Not, I mean, forcing their children to be, to be what they want them to be. I'm not saying if they, what they choose is not right. 
allow them to, but I think you should give them the ear and then understand who they want to be. Sometimes I believe that allowing people to do what they love, even if what they are doing wouldn't fetch them money, the love they have for what they do will help them and it will give them the money that you think they may not get, get from that. Yeah. So I'll be happy if he, he becomes an artist. Yeah. It will help me because it will release my stress. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be, doing a lot of, he'll, be, he'll be doing some of the works and then I'll I just know. be there. Yes, I can just do the major part and then I leave the other parts to him. Yeah. Once he's good and then he can go ahead with that. Fantastic. Yeah. So if I buy an artwork from you, how, how long does it last? Is it, does it last a lifetime? How long? It lasts a lifetime, okay. depending, you know, on how you're going to keep it, how you're going to, I mean, take good care of okay. it. Yeah. In the course of fire, I mean, with that, you know, fire destroys a lot of things. And depending on how you keep it, it can, la it can last a lifetime. Having it framed and then it's on the wall beautifully, it can be there for ages. And one thing with this pyrography painting is that it never looks old yeah. and it never looks new. Yeah. It always looks like it's a prehistoric kind yeah. of thing. And on the other hand, it looks like a new kind of artwork. Yeah. So I think this is a lifetime piece. Yeah. And I absolutely love it. Fantastic. Thank so you. your last advice with those... Young, that's his son crying at the moment. Nana hey, Kwame. Nana Kwame, are you okay? <laughs> Nana. Nana. Okay, he's not minding me. He's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so he's good. But your last words to a young person who is inspired by your work yeah. and knows that deep inside they want to be an artist, but their parents are just like, no, you cannot do it. You have to be something else that's going to make you a lot of money. What would your advice be to those young people? My advice to them is that they should keep on being who they want to be and then they should, they should do what they love to do and prove to their parents that they can become what they want to become with what they do. Okay. I think if you love what you do and you do what you love, that is the best way to live life. And so my advice to them is that they should, they should keep their fingers crossed, never giving up, no matter the pressure. Because I've been through a lot to become an artist. For me to even be accepted mm -hmm. as an artist was difficult for me to let the people around me understand what I do. But believing in myself as an artist and knowing that what I do can take me to the heights that I want to go, I work towards it. So you have to work towards what you want to become. You can't fold your arms and then look into the skies and it's, I mean expect. expect the dreams to come to you. You have to follow the dreams and then the vision that you have. First of all, you need to have a vision. I think vision is what carries you. And then you let let you have to allow your imaginations keep you going because the things that I imagined of becoming, this is what has kept me working. Yeah. So you, you, they need to work on their imagination. They should know that whatever that they want to become is in their imagination and it's not in the imagination of any other person. Right. So, you know, it's you need to allow them. your imagination work for you. Right. And I don't think you have to disrespect your parents if they don't want you to become what you want to become, but you need to prove to them in a nice way to accept who you are. Sure. And in that way, I think you can go far. So I need you guys to love what you do and work hard and believe in that whatever that you do, You'll be blessed because even the Bible says that, you know, a man's gift makes way for him and bring him before great men. So they know that God gave you ten fingers and these ten fingers, you know, they have a lot to do. It's true. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you But before much. actually we go, I want to know your most challenging moment for you. Has there been any moment where you have wanted to either give up or a down point for you? Going to school. Okay. Yes, taking myself to school was one of the down moments. You know, I felt like giving up. You know, it's hard to be in school and then take most part of the responsibilities on so you your own. So you have to own. pay for yourself. I have to pay most part of the things that I've I've done from the beginning. I, I had to take responsibility for most part of it. And why did it, you have to take responsibility? Because I need to do what I love. Okay. Yes, yes. Because I wanted to be an artist, I had to take care of my my okay. career as an artist. There was no support there, for you because... I mean, the support that I needed wasn't... Was yes, even to get the kind of tools I want and the, I mean, the kind of work I wanted to produce and the things that I needed, I didn't have that at my fingertips. You know, one time I visited acrylics and then I saw a young lady and, and the dad, and I, I saw them buying materials. I was also trying to buy materials. And I was just standing there and looking at this young girl and the dad following her. Oh. And I was like, wow, I wish my dad was here to awesome. follow me because... I'm not saying this girl doesn't know how to paint. I don't know the kind of painting she was going to yeah. do, but the daddy had fallen. And I look at myself and the people who say, you are, you are great, you are this and that. I don't have even anybody to support follow me you. and support the things that I do that much. But anyway, 
it's a down moment, but I don't let things pull me down. That's who I am. No matter how difficult it, it becomes, I still strive and then come up because that is the best way. You don't have to remain at the you point. You just have to up. lift yourself up each time. So that has been the down moment of wow. my... But well done yeah, for it, sailing through. Thank you very right? much. Because thank most you. would have given up. Yes, yeah, sure. But you made sure, like you said, the passion that was in you, you knew I that knew this myself. is what you wanted to do. Yes, sir. And yes, this I was knew. your calling. This was my calling, this definitely. And I, I didn't want to give up for no reason. Yeah. yeah, I just wanted to do what I love because I know this will pay off. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. And there are people like Amakuba who inspires me a lot to do the things that I do. I met him in Paris. Did you? He was doing an exhibition. Okay. And then currently he opened an art residence in La, around La. And then I was there and I met him again. And I, I seeing what he's doing, I realized, you know, this is possible. It's possible. Don't let anybody tell you nothing is impossible. That's true. And today, a lot of people can buy Amakuba's work. I know, right? And, yes. They yes. can't. So if you look at what we are doing, you should know that allow your kids to become who they want to become. If they want to be artists, never think artists are people who are dumb. I'm not dumb, I'm really brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. But it's the same with yeah. artists, music artists, yes. football art, footballers yes. before, yes. their parents would not allow them. And now not look, not it's a all. big industry. Not and so I think that this industry is big. It's big. And um, it's big. we will get there for yeah. sure. Yeah. I so thank you. Thank you. Danso. Thank you. That's so bright. That's so bright. I'm actually a Mwaku. You're, you're Mwaku too? Yes, I'm a Mwaku, but I don't use it. He is using it. Okay. My, son, my son is Jade in another dance, so I'm Mwaku. Okay. And I'm Kwame Danso, so I'm Mwaku. Oh. Yeah. Where's the bright for? Is that your actual yeah. name? Bright. You know, it's funny when the, how the name bright came up. Uh -huh. I, I gave myself bright. Oh, okay. And my dad never said no. He was alive when I gave myself. I, I, I went out to play one time uh -huh. and when I came back I said I want to be called bright hey. and then he said okay no problem yeah so when you take my old birth certificate it's Kwame down so I'm ah. yes but he accepted it he and accepted I used it. bright true primary wow. I didn't know how old I was when, when I said, you said that, that yeah. but I took that true. But obviously before and he, he he accepted it I and he never changed bright wow. so when you took, when you take my birth certificate you have bright uh, Kwame down so I'm wow so that is what you used to know that I'm not lying. Yeah, you're not lying. Absolutely. <laughs> yes, yes. Keep shining bright, Thank Damso. you very much. I hope that you guys have been inspired by his artwork and are going to purchase his artwork. I need every single one of my people who are watching to go and Google him. We'll put his um, details on the screen. Make sure that you go visit him on Facebook, Instagram, all the social media. So make sure you go there and find out where you can see some of his artwork and also purchase. I hope that you guys are going to subscribe and like and follow and do all of that kind of stuff. We will be bringing you more inspirational stories right here from the continent.